Hello everyone, welcome to Jack Scraps. Thank you for joining me today. I have a Pat Catan's haul. So I've gone there two times since the last video about them and they only have like two weeks left. So I um, went this time and I think I'm done. Um, there's not too much left, but there's still some goodies if you happen to go there. I'm going to start with some Doris Charms. Uh, I found this cute little purse love it. it has little flowers on it and a little gem in the center I found this one with the um, little flag I love that they all have lobster claw clasp <laughs> sorry and this one is a cute little cassette player like a little jam box back in the day <laughs> I'm not going to go over pricing because um, it kind of varied um, and it'd be too hard to figure that all out while showing you the goods. This one here, I found these metal keys and they were different. I really got it just for this one with the crown on top of it. So nice. This one says love and then um, there's just these two decorative ones, but this was like a dollar something. But I really love that one. The next thing I picked up was these eye pins, and I got them in varying sizes and colors. So these are two inches, and these are gold. You got 15 in this pack. Remember, the jewelry was buy three, get seven free. Now I think it's 12. These are silver eye pins. There are 36 pieces in this one. These are good to make those um, when you're doing jewelry, making jewelry and beads and stuff. And this is hematite. These are um, two different sizes. They have the smaller one and then the longer. It doesn't actually say, let's see, 36 one inch and 62 inch. So you get 96 all together. The next thing that I picked up was these lanyard hooks. There are 75 and they are of sorted metallics. Looks like we have copper, gold, black, silver, uh, maybe some hematite in there as well. Um, I thought these might be fun to use in journaling and stuff. I know we use the fashion pins or gourd pins, whatever you might want to call them, but I thought this might be kind of neat to use as well. I hope you can see them, you guys. The next thing is some beads. These are printed oval wood beads. I thought these might be fun to add to, you know, journals on paper clips or something like that. There are 60 pieces in this. They all have different designs on them. I thought that might be fun to use. The last jewelry piece that I got was these teardrops and they're pink, like little crystals. I just thought these would be adorable, just dangling on the side of a journal, you know, on a paper clip. And then they have beads in between them, so those would be nice to add as well. Hopefully the hole will be big enough. But uh, yeah, I thought those were really cute. The thing I picked up was this really cute ribbon. It is diamond rose ribbon, 3 8 inch by four yards from Oh So Trendy. Really cute. I found some diamond ice. There are 2,000 pieces in here. And um, it says it's a one carat. They're really cute, you guys. And I thought these would be great in shakers because they're so small, I think they'll fit. So I'm going to give that a try, but they are gorgeous. I wanted to get the clearer, but they didn't have any. They only had the bigger sizes, and I thought the big size would not work in shakers because these are so small. I'm pretty sure they'll work. So really cute. In that same section, I found these black pearl stamen, and I just love the color of these. It's like almost like a grayish black metallic really cute so i can't wait to try those out the wedding section i found these cute little flower favors and there are 12 in each package 
and I just thought these would be great to embellish and I just love the creamy color. They also had white, but I like this one better. Very cute. I actually found the last bottle of Beacon Fabri-Tac and I got this for like $3.15, you guys. Fantastic buy for Fabri-Tac. <laughs> love that. Our item from the wedding section was these David Tutera Illusions. These are acrylic gem shapes. You get 12 in each package. One of these I have open. I just thought they were really neat and they would be fun to create something with. So they're acrylic. Of course, you can see through them. They have little holes at the top of each one of them. This one is like a dew drop. I don't know the best way to show you this. If that helps at all but you get let's see six of that shape I think that's what it is and then you get this other shape it's kind of like you know a hexagon with the six sides but it's really soft sides I'm not sure the best way to show you guys this but um, then you got four of those in this pack so really cute. I got two packages because they were only like, oh, here, there's six of these as well. Um, because they were only like 30 cents or something, but really cute. And then they show them here as they're hanging. So I think there'll be some neat things we can do with these. So can't wait to try that out. As you saw, I did pick up another embossing folder. This one has cute little balloons on it. This is 4.25 by 5.75. Next, I picked up this Play Money. I had a couple ideas of creating some things and using this, but I thought this was really cool. It looks exactly like our Play Money, or our real money, I should say. They have one, tens, twenties, uh, hundreds, five dollar bills. I thought there was like a 50 or something in here too, but really cute. I love how they look almost like the real ones. These are like the old ones, right? Because now they're all different, but really fun. And then I picked up some of these epoxy sticker, stickers. This set is hearts and stars. There's 18 pieces in it. These were like nine cents. So of course I had to get them. Really cute though. I got another set of these Happy Spring ones. I bought this before when they were actually regular price, like a dollar something, but I think I got these for 19 cents. Really cute. They just remind me of Maggie Holmes, just the way it's designed. And then I got these poolside epoxy stickers. There's 18 in these as well. I thought these little creatures were kind of funny. I love this little jellyfish that it's scuba diving. There's a shark in a inner tube or whatever we used to call those. I think these are adorable. Again, that was like nine cents. In area, I found these cupcake frames. So these are cardstock and you get 20 pieces of them and the center comes out. So these would be great for shakers. So that's the reason why I got them. They also had crowns and other things, but I like these the best. Then I found some Jerry's paper tags. These were 29 cents each. You get 20 in each pack. I loved this color. This one's silver. Here's a gold one. And then this one is gold striped. But these are a nice small size for 20 in each for 29 cents, fabulous deal. I found this jewelry and hobby tool. It's a metal bead scoop, and I think I got this free by the time everything was done. Um, I think this is gonna be great to use with the sequins, the beading, and all that great stuff, so love that. And then I found, this was the last one on the shelf, and I debated about getting it, but I thought it was kind of fun. The 75 bingo playing cards. And then I got the bingo, I don't know, yeah, there. I got the bingo playing sheets. So this is what they look like. 
And then here on this side, it says B1, B4, you know, kind of neat. So I really kind of got these to journal with, but then after I got them home, I'm really liking these bingo cards. <laughs> like if you're traveling, how fun of a game would this be to play? So I'll probably use some in my journals. So these are paper bingo cards. I don't even know how many you get. Let's see, 125 sheets. So I thought it'd be kind of neat to take our napkins and put decoupage that on here. But I thought this would be fun to use in journals, so that's why I got it. And then the last thing that I have to share is this Riley Blake Designs Harmony Farm fabric. Now this has uh, 42 pieces in it, and they are 10 inch by 10 inch. And it is all farm animals. This was kind of expensive, you guys. It was regularly $29.99, and it wasn't going down very much. So when it got to $11.99, I did go ahead and buy it. And I'm glad I did, because when I went back yesterday, they didn't have any. But I thought I'd just go real quick through the fabric. Let's see. So it looks like you get maybe three of each one. These are sheep. It says good night. One, two, three, dream. <laughs> That's cute. These are piggies, of course. This is kind of the reason I got it, you guys. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you get three of each design. But then again, each design is almost slightly different. Here is the cow on a tractor. A nice little plaid there. Sorry, I have to keep turning it. Here's some more piggies in dirt, or mud, I should say. Here's another farm setting with all the animals. Really like having the farm on there. Some more sheep. Here's some like sprinkles. Some more plaid. Here's the farm scene then with a different type of background. And here's the pigs in mud in a different background. <laughs> it's hard to turn them. And then here's the sheep in a different color background. These you're only getting like two each of. Nice pink. And here's the farm animals on a tractor. <laughs> There's a pig. <laughs> here's some sprinkles. So the background changes, but the kind of scenery is the same. Here's some more sprinkles, and that's the last one. Yeah. So that was kind of fun. Because I have so much of this, I'll probably put it up in some of it up in my Etsy shop. But I thought that was really cute. So that is it, everyone. Um, my final Pat Catan's haul. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.